this video is about multiplying matrices. So first thing, you need to know that in order to multiply matrices, the number of columns in the first matrix must equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. What that means is this. If I had a matrix A, and matrix A was a 2 by 3 matrix, and I was multiplying it by a matrix B, and matrix B was a 3 by 5 matrix. All right, if that's happening, since the number of columns here and the number of rows that match, the middle numbers are equal to each other, then these two matrices can be multiplied. The new matrix, A times B, would have the dimensions of the first numbers and the last numbers here. So the new dimensions would be a 2 by 5 matrix. And that's what happens after you multiply them. You get a new matrix with new dimensions to it. But again, what must be true is these middle numbers have to equal each other. If they don't equal each other, then it's impossible to multiply them. Multiplication is undefined. Anyway, I'll get that down as a note. It's kind of important. And then I'm going to erase the screen. All right. If matrix A is equal to this matrix, and matrix B is equal to this matrix, what is the value of AB or A times B? Before I begin, I would always check the dimensions, see if it's even possible. So just checking it out. This matrix is a 3 by 2. This matrix is a 2 by 2. If you notice, the middle numbers do match. So you can multiply. So as I can, let's go ahead and do it. So the first matrix is this. Times, and you don't have to put the dot by will just because it's easy to look at. I'm not going to forget what I'm trying to do. 0, 0, 2, 4, 5. Now, how do you multiply matrices? Well, this is how you multiply matrices. You multiply rows by columns. So I'm going to take this first row, multiply by this column. And just so we know, our new matrix should be a 3 by 2 matrix. So when I actually multiply this together, I know my answer should have a number here, here, and here. And numbers here, here, and here. Make it a 3 by 2 matrix. All right. So keep that in mind. And how we find out what those numbers are is you take... They kind of like, if you can visualize taking the 3 and the 5, it's going to create the numbers there. So it's going to wind up being 3 times 0 plus 5 times 4. That's the first element. Then you take this row and multiply by the next column. So you run out of columns. So the next one would be 3 times 2 plus 5 times 5. All right, so then we're done with columns, so I'm done with that row. Then I'll take my next row. I'm going to change the color here. So my next row is this one, 1, 1. We'll apply it by each column. So I'm going to get 1 times 0, then the second 1 times 4. Now I'm done with that, and it goes to the next column. That's going to be 1 times 2 plus 1 times the 5. And after that, we'll take the last row and multiply it by a column. So this is the 4, 2 row. So I'm going to take 4, 2, multiply by the first column and the second column. So I'm going to get 4 times 0 plus 2 times 4. When I'm done with that. We'll go to the next column. And it's going to be 4 times 2 plus 2 times the 5. You ought to notice that a pattern is forming here. 0, 0, 0, 4, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 5. So it's a good little pattern once you start getting, start getting going there. From there, you're going to do the math to finish it. You're going to figure out what 3 times 0 plus 4 times 5 is. So that's 0 plus 20. So that's 20. Next one is 6 plus 25, so that's 31. Next one is 0 plus 4, so it's 4. 0 is easy. Let's get these out of the way. 
This one's 0 plus 8, so it's 8. And then 2 plus 5 is 7. And 8 plus 10 is 18. So my new matrix, AB, is this. This is the matrix of product A and B. And that's how you multiply matrices. You multiply the rows by columns, and your new matrix has a number of, has a new dimension, and that dimension is formed by here. The first and last numbers here. All right, let's do another one of those. Oh, Bob will pause the video and copy to anything you didn't already know as a note. A new example, it says multiply these matrices if possible. So the first is how the dimensions are. This one has dimensions 2 by 3, and this one is a 3 by 2. So I can multiply them. And when I multiply them, it's going to be, hold up, first number and last number. So it's going to be a 2 by 2 before I get done. Because these threes do match, so I can multiply them. All right, so if that's true, I know my new matrix is going to have 1, 2, 1, 2. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. So let's do it. You're going to take the row here, multiply by the column here. So the numbers are 5 times a negative 4 plus 3 times a negative 3 plus 5 times 3. And then I'm going to take this one and multiply to the next one. Make it net 5 times 2 plus 3 times 4, plus 5 times negative 5. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take the bottom. I'm going to take the 1, 5, 0, distribute it to each one. So it should wind up being, pick the color a little darker. It should wind up being 1, times negative 4, 5 times negative 3, plus 0 times 3. And the last one will be this times the other column, so it's 1 times 2, plus 5 times 4, plus 0 times negative 5. All right, so those are the numbers and the elements created are these numbers. So this is negative 20, subtract 9, plus 15. So this is negative 29 plus 15. I use calculator, but not sure about what that is. I think it's negative 14, though. And then this is going to be 10 plus 12, so that's 22, subtract 25. So 22 subtract 25. That should be negative 3. And the last one should be negative 4. Subtract 15. So that's negative 19 plus 0. So that's negative 19. And here should be 2 plus 20 plus 0. So that's 22. So the product of those two matrices should be that. And that's how you multiply them by hand. Also, I'm explain how to do it with a calculator because it's kind of nice to know. So if you got a TI graph and calculator, I can explain that now. But you do want to um, you do want to copy down anything you didn't already know as a note. All right, moving on. All right, so we're going to multiply these matrices. Um, you know what? Pause the video. And before I show you how to do it with a calculator, see if you can actually do it by hand. So pause the video, considering what you just learned and actually multiply these two matrices together by hand, if it's possible for them to be multiplied. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a shot. All right, so if you pause it, you should have recognized that this matrix is a 3 by 2, and that this matrix is a 2 by 2. The middle numbers do match. Our new matrix is a 3 by 2.
right, so a new matrix is going to be a 3 by 2 matrix. So you may have an answer for it, but you just calculate it. Talk about what the answer should be. All right, so here's my calculator. And in order to use it for the matrices, uh, clear all this out. You want to go to matrix, and it's right above x to the negative 1 or inverse. So you hit second, x to the negative 1. And then these are the names of them. You have to edit it. So go over to edit, and then hit enter. And then the matrix here is 3 by 2. So I'm going to enter this matrix. Let's call this matrix A. Let's call this matrix A. Let's call this matrix B. So when I enter this, it's going to be a 3 by 2 matrix. And hit enter to go down into the matrix. And we're going to enter all the elements. So the elements are these numbers here of the matrix. So it's 0, 5, negative 3, 1, negative 5, 1. So 0, enter. Positive 5, enter. Negative 3, enter. 1, negative 5, and 1. All right, we're done with that matrix. Let's go back to matrix. And let's go over to edit and go down to matrix 2, B. And let's edit B. B is 2 by 2. So we have 2 by 2. And the answer to go down. And the numbers are negative 4, 4, negative 2, and negative 4. So negative 4, enter. 4, enter. Negative 2, enter. Negative 4, enter. So that's all the numbers of the matrix. So it's second mode to quit. So what I want to do is, I want to enter those matrices. How we do it is, go back to matrix, hit enter for matrix A, times, go back to matrix again, go down to matrix B, hit enter there. Now it says A times B. Do you have to put the time sign? No, calculator recognizes what it is if you don't put the time sign. It knows multiplication. And when we multiply A times B, they give you negative 10, negative 20, 10, negative 16, 18, negative 24. So that's what you should have gotten had you actually did it properly. So make sure I plug in all the numbers for A right, though. So sometimes I might plug in something wrong, so I can check it. I go into matrix, enter for A, hit enter, just to check what I put in there. And I put in 0, negative 3, negative 5, 5, 1, and 1. So A is right. So I'll go down to B, check it out, and hit enter. And it should be negative 4, 4, negative 2, negative 4. And it matches negative 4, 4, negative 2, negative 4. So I did plug them in properly, and they do match. All right, now, quick question. This was A times B. Suppose I wanted B times A. B is a 2 by 2. A is a 3 by 2. Can you multiply those? Yeah, you're probably saying no. Can't multiply because they don't match. I wonder what would happen if we plug into the calculator B times A to check. So I'm going to plug in matrix B. Spare that. So matrix B times matrix A. And enter. And it says, error. I mentioned mismatch. Use the option to quit or go to. You have the option to go to, you should go to it. Enter. And it says, something's wrong. I can't multiply those. This A has to mention mismatch. And it's recognizing that these don't match. So it can't actually multiply. But anyway, let's say multiply matrices with a calculator. Pretty much all I have. That's it. Good luck.